हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी क्रिएटेड ए रूम्स एंड वी टेस्टेड अवर गेम वी आर वी कैन सक्सेसफुली कनेक्ट एंड जॉइन अ रूम एंड नाउ बोथ ऑफ दीज फंक्शंस आर वर्किंग फाइन सो इफ लेट से आई क्रिएटेड अ रूम विद द नेम रूम वन सो इफ द नेक्स्ट प्लेयर कम्स एंड ही कैन इफ enter the same name room one and join the room so now after successfully uh, joining the room we are going to uh, load the gameplay scene where player can actually play the game so let's uh, do that i am going to open the script uh, ui handler and in here our overrided function on joined room so if we are successful then we are going to load the gameplay scene so let's create a new scene in the scenes folder so this is the sample scene so i'm going to uh, rename it to main scene hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so before proceeding to the video i just want you guys to know about my multiplayer course so i have created a multiplayer course with over 40 plus lectures and you can see that it's uh, more than 6 hours of lectures on multiplayer game development using photon 2 which is the latest version in 2019 so uh, this is the very detailed course and in uh, there are some free videos and you can uh, take that to see if this course is good for you or not so uh, the link of the discount coupon is in the description and i am going to create another scene with the name gameplay now let's open the gameplay scene and make sure to put it in the build setting so gameplay scene is loaded so i am going to add the open scene so right here now let's uh, download some assets for our game so i found this nice package it is uh, totally free uh, you can download it from there so just simply click this uh, download now button and the asset is free but uh, if you want to support the designers you can do that right here now uh, we are going to click on the no thanks just take me to downloads and after downloading this package so it is uh, 6 mb so download that and uh, in my so i have downloaded this package now inside you will find the gifs for our characters so we have eagle frog and our player now also we have some assets for our environment so in the png folder we have all the sprites sprite sheets if you are interested and also we have our environments and props now import this scene uh, assets so i have imported them right here now let's add design our environment so we have the back so i am going to create an empty game object and i am going to rename it environment so all of the environment assets will be here so just drag this back image and put it right here and so i have created the game scene so actually the asset i told you to download uh, i deleted that asset and instead i am using this tile set you can find the link of this tile set in the description and uh, i have uh, placed all the ground objects in the ground and all the decoration objects trees and stones in the objects and the main object is environment so everything should be inside that environment now for the character i created this character in photoshop you can use it i will provide the link of that in the description or you can use any other uh, 
uh, sprite you want so right here we have our character so let me scale it down to 0 0.5 and this is how it looks now I think uh, I forget to add collider on our ground so by selecting the ground we are going to add a box collider so box collider 2d because we are going to have a rigid body on our player so that's why now click on the edit collider now you can see that we have our box collider right here so i'm going to scale it down to my tile sets now let's uh, rename our character to player so now our player is set up so let's add some components on player so player is going to have his name above his head and player is also going to have a camera so why player needs a camera i'm going to explain that in later so let's create a canvas inside the player so canvas should be child of that player and the screen say space is going to be world space now i'm going to reset the position of our canvas and also our player so now in the canvas i am going to create a text for player name so rename it to player name and let's focus that now you can see that the name is too big so i am going to scale it down so that we can see that in the hierarchy now we are going to increase the font side font size and then decrease so actually this is going to be overflow so let me disable the environment so that we can see our text so right now it is behind the player so let's drag that above and the scale should be 0 0.1 0 0.1 and 0. Oh, sorry 0 0.2 because uh, if you set it to negative uh, because uh, when we are scaling it down the values uh, are negative so uh, make sure that the scale values should be positive and then select it again and right here now let's adjust it right here now uh, let's uh, rename the text to name and make it center now clicking on this uh, rec tool actually we can set the uh, rec so let's move it like that now i'm going to make it bold and the color is going to be white now let's add a camera so by clicking on the player we are going to add the camera and let's copy the main camera component so we are going to copy the transform because if now i disable the main camera you can see that we are not seeing the player so uh, let's copy everything from there and paste it right here so the uh, reason we are we were not seeing the player is 
because uh, the negative uh, on the z index we are we have set it the value to 0 so it should be minus 10 so now also we are going to copy this camera component so copy all the values by clicking on the copy component and then pasting right here so now if i disable my main camera we are still seeing the player so let's enable our environment and now you can see that we our player name is hidden behind the uh, environment so let's so by changing the order in layer on the canvas you can see that if we go into negative it is going to fall behind and let's uh, make it one and now on our player we are going to have a box collider 2d uh, right here and also we are going to have a rigid body 2d component so rigid body 2d and uh, make sure to constrain it on the uh, z so rotation should be freezed at z otherwise the character will be uh, falling so to fix that make sure it is checked so now let's uh, make our player uh, prefab so in the assets i am going to create a new folder and rename it to prefabs open it and drag our player into the prefabs and we are going to remove our player from the scene because we are going to instantiate it at runtime so i'm going to enable the main camera and now let's go back to our script and in the on join room we are after printing the message we are going to load the gameplay scene so photon network dot load level and in here we are going to say we can actually put the name or we can simply put the index so our gameplay scene is at index 1 build index 1 now save that now let's go back to our main scene and hit play now we are going to connect in here we are going to create a room so room one so now you can see that our we are successfully connected to room and our ga gameplay scene has loaded now that's it for this video and if you like the video please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed my channel please make sure to subscribe it and let me know in the comments uh, about the video and i will see you in the next video